kiroho. Pastor Steve spoke about honoring our set men of God. Ya kwamba mchungaji Steve akana kuhusu kuatii watumishi wa Bwana ambao wameko pale kwa ajili yetu. And it was so so powerful. Na hii ilikuwa pia yenye nguvu zaidi. Because he spoke to us. Alitunenea basi. About becoming beneficiaries. Ya kwamba kuwa wakunufaika. Of the grace of God that is carried by men of God. Kwa neema ya Bwana ambayo inabeba na watumishi wake Bwana. And uh, and, and, and and he also spoke to us about passing on of the mantles. He reminded us for every Elijah there is an Elisha. For every Naomi Kwa Naomi, there is a Ruth. Pako nae Ruth. This is the word of God. You can't change it. Speaking about authority and honor. He spoke about our spiritual father. Late Pastor Bonke whom I dearly miss. Who adopted me into his family. Many years ago. And he touched on the man who touched the the life of Pastor Bonke. Na akanena kuhusu yule bwana ambaye aliguza maisha ya mhubiri Bonke. I traveled across the world with Pastor Bonke for three good years. Nilisafiri ulimwenguni kote na mchungaji Bonke kwa miaka mitatu. Because he told me as he winds up his ministry. Kwa jina nilieleza alipokuwa akimalizia huduma yake. He wanted to travel with me into the nations. Alikuwa anataka kusafiri nami katika mataifa. He took me into the nations. Akanipeleka katika mataifa. What was Pastor Bonke doing? Je, mhubiri Bonke alikuwa anafanya nini? Most of the times you know that once a month for three years I was out of the country. Nakumbuka kwa we went across Europe. Brazil, you name it, Singapore. Brazil, kila mahali We went everywhere. I knew something. The reason Pastor Bonke held my hand. As my authority. My mentor. Is to show me something. Every place he has been. He has set spirit your pathways for us. You didn't get that one. You don't have to go binding every devil. Because where your father has passed through, it will be a walk-in. I said it always be a walk-in. Things that he struggled with, you don't have to struggle with them. So Pastor Steve tried to give us a bit of a testimony of men who touched the life of Pastor Bonke. I have heard Pastor Bonke speak about this man very passionately over and over again. He was one of the British revivalists. A great man. You know Pastor Bonke, Pastor Steve when you spoke about this man. I remember how Pastor Bonke would narrate the story and I will be getting one of the videos so you can see him talk about the impartation Nilikuwa nasikia vile alikuwa anenena kuhusu ile hadithi na kunena ndio Francis mmoja ata taswira vile alikuwa anaweza kuhusu kupitishwa kwa ile nguvu zake When he finishes Bible school in the in the in the UK Alipomaliza shule yake Biblia kule Uingereza And he was going back to Germany Na alikuwa anarejea kule Germany He had extra time Alikuwa na wakati wa ziada Before he could board the train that would take him back home to Germany Ambaye angechukua kama train ya kumrudisha kule kule Germany He discovered he had a few coins Akakumbua akaona and he he said to himself it doesn't hurt if i pay for a bus and tour the whole of uk united the city of london so he said he paid the bus and jumped into the bus i want you to show how destiny will always find you god is so calculated more than you can ever imagine so as the Pastor Bonke is in the bath, a time came in the city of London, he's German, 
wakati ukafika katika mji ule wa kwamba yeye ni mjeremani he jumped off the bus akatoka nje ya so that he could stretch out because he had been in the bus for a while ili akapata kujinyosha kidogo kwa ajili alikuwa ameketi sana pale katika bus he saw a name of the street akaona jina ya ile barabara and he asked somebody na akauliza mtu may i ask you je watanikuuliza would george jeffries the great revivalist in britain Would this be his street? Ya kwamba Jeff Jeffries ambaye amekuwa yule mhubiri mkuu katika ulimwengu je, pengine hii ndio barabara hiyo? You know in the UK everybody is so busy chasing running and all that. Unajua kule UK kila mtu ako na shughuli nyingi na kimbisha hiki na mambo hayo. Somebody said yes it is. Mtu akasema ndio ni hiyo. And he walked. Akatembea. And He was so dear, his house is not even far from here. Akaambiwa ta nyumba yake haiko mbali kutoka hapa. So Pastor Bonke began to walk there. Mhubiri Bonke basi akaanza kutembea pale. He said he came to a door because he was given a number. Akasema kwamba akafika katika lango kwa ajili kwa amepata namba. He knocked at the door. Akabisha katika ule mlango. And knocked again. Akabisha tena. And he said. Na akasema. A huge woman. Wanamke mnene. Can you imagine Pastor Bonke defines that she was so fat she filled the whole door. Ndofikiria Mhubiri Bonke akielezea kwamba alikuwa mnene alikuwa amejaza mlango nzima she opened the door akafungua lango and pastor bonke is panicking <sighs> is, is this is this house George Jeffries house pale ameshangaa akasema je hii ndio nyumba ya George Jeffries at the fat woman said yes mwanamke akasema ndio can i see him je naweza nikamuona of course not la hauwezi Then Pastor Bonke is standing at the door. Mubiri Bonke amesoma lango. At the back of the door. Nyuma ya lango. Pastor Bonke had a loud voice saying, "Let him in." Ak Pastor Bonke akasikia sauti ya mzee kisema muache aingie. And Pastor Bonke walked in. Nae Mubiri Bonke akaingia. He looked at George Jeffries. Akamwangalia George Jeffries. George Jeffries looked at him. George Jeffries akamwangalia. This is the story he says. Hii ndio hadithi ambayo George Jeffries wrapped himself around Pastor Bonke. George Jeffries akamkumbatia mhubiri Bonke. They rolled on the carpet. Wakaanza kubingiria katika zuria. And when now he was done. Na sasa alipokuwa amemaliza. He looked at Pastor Bonke and asked him. Akamwangalia mhubiri Bonke akamwambia. Why did it take so long for you to come? Kwani ilichukua muda mrefu kwa wewe kuja. And then Pastor Bonke didn't know. Mhubiri Bonke akujua. But when he walked out of that house. Lakini alipondoka kule kwa ile nyumba. Let me say something to somebody. Acha nimwambie mtu. It does not no matter who stands at the door haijalishi nani amesimama malangoni when god opens no man can shut hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kufunga when he shuts anapofunga no man opens hakuna mwanadamu anaweza kufunga so now pastor bonke sasa mhubiri bonke He, he went back to, he jumped in back to the bus he went back to germany akarejea katika basi akarejea germany on arrival alipowasili tu his father picked him at the train station babake akamchukua pale katika stage the breaking news in europe ya kwamba habari ambayo ilikuwa ina neno kule europe now george jeffrey rested last night ya kwamba sasa george jeffries alipumzika usiku uliopita pastor bonke said no mhubiri bonke akasema la i went to his house nilikuwa kwa nyumba yake and fa- his father said maybe another pastor pas- baba yake akamwambia pengine ni mhubiri mwingine what i want to say nataka kusema There is no way. Hakuna njia yote. George Jeffries. George Jeffries would have died with the crossing of anointing. Angekufa na ile He had to pass it on. Lazima angeipitiza. There is a passing on of mentors. Kuna hali ya kupitisha joho. Never never be ignorant of that fact. Usiwahi puuza jambo lile. It's only Elisha. Ni Elisha tu. He could not pass it on to Gehazi. Angeweza kumpatia Gehazi. And you know why? Unajua ni kwa nini? So now we, we today as Pastor Steve said. Kwa hivyo basi leo kama vile mhubiri Steve alisema George Jeffries. George Jeffries. Passed on a baton to Pastor Bonke. Akapatiana ile kijiti kwa mhubiri Bonke. Pastor Bonke gets an African girl all the way in Kenya. Na kwamba Pastor Bonke akampatia dada wake Afrika hapa Kenya. And says. Na akasema when he stood here. Aliposimama hapa. We walked out there. Tuliondoka pale nje. And President Uhuru was here as well. Na Rais Uhuru alikuwa hapa vile vile. Pastor Bonke told me. Pastor Bonke akaniambia. Treza I'm done. Treza I am not coming to your beautiful country anymore. And I don't think you will see me again. This building. 
was dedicated by one of the greatest generals in our time, Pastor Bonke. And I remember his message. God called Adam, where are you? Do you remember? And we still have the carpet that he walked on here. Mm-mm, that's for another day. And through Pastor Bonke, I, now I know. The organization that was left by, by George Jeffries. One of the, the, the main pastors of that church. Church is a great friend of mine. He told me, Kaniambia. Teresa, I cried when we were, we were renovating this church. Because when we went to the basement, we found hundreds of wheelchairs, crutches, hearing aids, of Nata, people who had been healed in George Jeffrey's ministry. How Jeffrey. I pray God will revive us again in the name of Jesus.